In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your camera and gaming PC or console simultaneously with one capture card. What's up guys, it's your boy Boss back of BackToGaming.com and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Avermedia Live Gamer Duo. Unlike most capture cards intended for gamers and streamers, this one has two HDMI inputs. That means you can use two devices simultaneously like your gaming PC underneath my table or your gaming console and together with your DSLR and mirrorless camera. Other usage like mine, for example, I can capture two test systems simultaneously for our demo purposes. Let's talk about the problem first. A lot of you people who have ascended past the built-in webcams and the integrated streaming solutions, you're probably on a dedicated streaming PC. The situation is that your gaming device and your camera will probably need their own capture card, and this amounts to a lot of money. A capture card in my area would usually run around $200, but in the situation that you want to start adding multi-angles like this one, you'll definitely have to factor that in. Now I've searched high and low for some consumer solution for this problem. Something that takes in multiple inputs and I found the quad HDMI from Blackmagic. But my distributor is asking $1,000 for one which is beyond what I can plunk down in one spending for a capture card. Of course, I'm going to save two PCIe slots and two USB ports versus what I have right now, but then again, that's still a thousand bucks. Luckily, later this year, Avermedia debuted the Live Gamer Duo. It's a 1080p capture card that features 4K 60p pass-through as well as 1080p 240. But other than that, it captures two inputs at the same time. Avermedia prices the Live Gamer Duo at $249, making it a more competitive option than two USB cards. Personally, I prefer the stability and latency advantage of a PCIe card. That's why I normally go with Blackmagic Design. But Aber Media presents a nice middle ground for multiple options as well as price. So over here at Back to Gaming, we use four capture cards, two PCIe 4K ones, and two USB capture cards. The problem with this one is uh, I do have an operator for my camera, and sometimes when he's um, panning and tilting, and then or someone works walks in or out of the shot the cables do get snagged and that bothers me in a live production that's uh, kind of problematic because again a lot of things can happen and I don't want that risk but for a more basic setup we have something of a uh, single PC and then two of these might work but again I spent $500 on this one capture cards over here in the Philippines aren't that cheap uh, right now uh, 250 I think is the lowest would be 220 but still quite pricey. The lower ones, the lower China ones are out there, but again, latency problems. So we have the Avermedia Live Gamer Duo, which is really, really neat because if you have a gaming source, like a, another gaming PC or a console, like the Xbox, the PS4 or the Switch, just plug the HDMI out to your port number one. Why is that? Because it has a pass-through right here for port number one. Sadly, it doesn't have port number two pass-through, which I would really want because I use a, a different monitor to monitor my camera as well. But for, um, for general use, you can just plug your camera right there and you're good to go. Again, you have to check your camera if it has HDMI output. Uh, most of the uh, Semi Pro ones do have them. The Blackmagic Pro uh, Pocket Cinema has full size HDMI. I think this one uses, uh, I think this is micro or mini. I think this is micro. But you have to check. Some uh, entry level cameras will not have, probably will not have HDMI. So please confirm with your, uh, with your store, I mean your brand first. But again, most of that is pretty much set up and we go straight to the software. Okay, so this is the Aver Media Assist Central. You download it from their website and you will be prompted with this screen once you fire it up and you can download Live, Game, Live Duo's driver to this uh, tool as well as ReCentral and Gaming Utility. Uh, basically, you really don't need all of this. All you need is the driver. You can use it with your, uh, your streaming software. But if you plan to capture, there are other ways, but ReCentral software is the native uh, use for that because it is uh, it is for uh, made by Avermedia themselves, and this is what that software looks like. And we have 
the dual inputs right here so there's me that's real time i think this is 60 fps so that's nice and then we have the game itself which hopefully you can see is running as well in 60 fps and then uh, from there you can uh, pretty much record individually through this and then you can also uh, record simultaneously they have this little uh, widget right here which you can use but I'm really not familiar with this one so I'll just skip that let me just play around with this one let me see what happens oh there you go so here's the setup and is there a green screen tool so it doesn't um, I don't think it has one oh, but it has a lot of uh, a lot of options right here oh it's chroma key so you can uh, pop your green screen I do have a green screen here and a lot of tools so again it's up to you to explore uh personally i don't uh, use other software than my streaming tool which is uh xsplit which i will show you in this one so let's close this up and once you have the aver media live gamer duo driver installed you need to do is just add your source so our first source is the uh capture card number one so that is the xbox let me just mute and then stream only yep and then we'll go to camera and this one it acts the same than the first one so if you're capturing um if you're just capturing straight up gameplay you can use recentral by itself for me i do streaming mostly and uh, i want to get in uh, a more customized interface so it also has audio we'll just knock that off none and here we go pretty much uh, how you want to set up so most streamers would just use a green screen like this one and they're all set so once you set that up you can just uh, block your green screen right here and then it's gonna be gone as you can see I have lights in here so that's uh, that's going to be a problem with use it but anyway that's how easy it is so again one capture card two inputs you can use two cameras you can use two consoles or two Aver media live gamer duo for two cameras and two inputs or three however you want to set it up so go straight on to the conclusion so to conclude the Aver Media Live Gamer Duo makes things pretty convenient. It's pretty much plug and play and you don't really need Aver Media Recentral software to make it work. Once it's in your uh, streaming PC or capture PC, all you need to do is download the drivers and you're good to go. Its shortcomings primarily are on the software side. Recentral has this uh, issue dipping back and forth between frame rates and resolution and you'll need to close Recentral when that happens. That isn't much of a bother in streaming that it is for gameplay capture, but then again, if you'd usually start capturing once a game is loaded, not during boot up, still, it's an issue worth noting. Another shortcoming is there is no HDMI to pass through. I wish there was because that would be so much easier, especially if your primary usage is using two systems at once. Regardless, if your usage is just wanting to have a gaming device and camera simultaneously in one streaming system, the Aver Media Live Gamer Duo is easily the most sensible choice. I've seen a lot of streamers asking about this, particularly for the reason they want a better on-stream camera, but never knew they, can, they cannot use most cameras with a USB cable as a webcam. 
As I mentioned earlier, prices over here in Asia are a little higher than I'd like for a capture card, regardless if it's from a gaming brand or a broadcast solutions company. Blackmagic Designs Quad HDMI Decklink is easily the most recent option for multi-input solutions, but with no output option, it's a purely capture tool usable primarily for cameras mainly. Other options are just too old and more expensive than the Decklink's $525 subject to local prices and availability as well. Avermedia prices the live Gamer Duo at $249. A single Elgato HD 60S Plus costs $200. While USB has its perks, my streams has had multiple issues of the USB cables dropping out or worse, getting snagged and pulled midstream. This is why I prefer the PCIe solutions and Elgato's PCIe are also $200 a pop. Again, in terms of sheer value, Aver Media's Live Gamer Duo is pretty much the best and only option for this kind of scenario. As much as I would like to say that it's the best, the Live Gamer 4K would probably still be the best option amongst Avermedia's offerings, provided you don't specifically need it for streaming. In closing, the Live Gamer Duo saves you money, saves you a PCIe slot, and it saves you time. While its value is not in actual features, just having it exist is already a godsend for a lot of us, especially streamers. The Avermedia Live Gamer Duo is available for $249.99, and it's available right now. Contact your local Aber Media representative or distributor for price and availability in your area. This has been your boy Boss Mac back to gaming.com. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to like the video, comment the video, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>